Hello, Dan Housen here. Dan Housen here to let you know that you are watching Dre41 Gaming. They do video games of some sort. Who knows? Dan Housen doesn't. But they are very nice, very evil. Do time. And if you do not watch this channel, you shall rue the day. What's up, y'all? It is your boy, Dre41, a.k.a. Mr. 4K, a.k.a. El Fuego. Spicy Dre, and welcome to an episode of the greatest wrestling game ever created in the history of mankind, WWE SmackDown, shut your mouth, I don't want to hear it. Yeah, we playing King of the Ring, y'all already see the names on here, we're going to see who walks away with the victory, I'm pretty interested in seeing who gets the W, so uh, let's get to it, We go. of course it's going to be computer, because I don't want to sit there and cheat, so I want to see who's the best out of these legends right here. I'm shooting for the god, Taka Michinoku, but we'll, we'll find out. Let's get to it. All right, so when I say, like, the best wrestling game, point blank, period, I, maybe that's a little bit of hyperbole. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just, you know, saying that to get a reaction. Here's how I really feel, right? I enjoyed the hell out of this game. Is it the best wrestling game? No. But the one thing that I can say that it separates itself from many other wrestling games is that it still has that Japanese influence in it. And what I mean by that is there's um, more Japanese wrestlers' movesets and preset movesets in this game that represent those Japanese wrestlers. So for me, the moves that are in this game are like almost second to none. And I'm, I'm sitting there comparing it to the 2K24. I'm, st I'm comparing it with that. Like, it, it's right there. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, there's new moves that this game, you know, this old game that came out 20 plus years ago doesn't have because the moves didn't exist. But this game also has wrestling moves that the... So, it's it's more or less a hand-in-hand -hand kind of thing. But, I mean, you, you go back and you play these games and you see that they have... Okay, for me, because I do enjoy Japanese wrestling. And when I say Japanese wrestling, I'm about to say, is it a three? The God already got a three count that fast. Um, when I say, um, you know, the move sets, I mean like multiple shining wizards. Look at the fighting stance they have. Look at the movements they have. This has a more fluid um, movement as opposed to the 2K games. If seriously, if you really look, I mean, it's it's motion captured, right? But it still seems rigid and the movements which it is what it is it's, it's motion capture when you animate you know a good portion of the moves there's a fluidity that you can do with it that the human body probably can't do um with a good portion of the moves i enjoy once again the shining wizards in this game the character specific moves and what i mean by that is gold dust has this snap mirror that he does a taunt right after. Like, they took them out. You know, I mean, up until the WWE 2K24, you couldn't reverse uh, Irish whips. What type of nonsense is it? How can you... Even in this game, right? You don't have to... Do you have to collar an elbow tie-up to do moves? Hold on, we'll, we'll find out. I don't think you have to. No, you do. You do. But you don't have to collar an elbow to do an Irish whip. You can just Irish whip them. i never seen in any wrestling game in my life where you have to collar an elbow tie-up to do an Irish whip. That is beyond my scope of comprehension. I'm not even playing. Like I don't even understand that. That, to me, is just goofy behavior. And you know... Oh, when you better not win off of that. All right, now I'm going for my boy Taka, even though his finish, he's nowhere close to a finisher. Like, Jujushin Liger is like right there. There we go. <laughs> Speaking of finishers, turn him around. Big drop kick. Okay, love to see it. Like, little moves like that, man. That, that's what I miss in wrestling games. I miss the, the cruiserweights actually doing cruiserweight moves. And I don't mean just having the moveset. I mean, like, there's being moves that they do that makes it look like a cruiserweight matchup. Like you, like I was saying earlier, 
as opposed to just doing springboard moves and going after the referee. Now, don't get me wrong. This game is a little bit janky because it's it's all out, all damn Liger Bomb. Rah! And it's rope break. Damn, he humping fire out of homeboy right now. <laughs> he giving him the full sugar. <laughs> and the ref is out. Oh, dang. Listen, this is Taka's opportunity to get the W, so he better do something. It's rope break. What are you doing, my guy? It wouldn't even matter. Ugh, missile, I'm not missile drop kick, but I want to say double drop. I don't know. We call it whatever we want. Referee for the count to... You better not. I was about to say, if Taka would have lost off of that, I would have been so disappointed. So, so disappointed. And now Irish whip off the ropes. What's this? Uh-oh, roll through. Roll through is he going to get a cheap victory. He's going to get a cheap victory. Ah, oh, Taka, come on, my guy. Damn, son. I need Taka, I need Taka to win, dog. If Taka the God doesn't win, we got a problem. Also, I'm, I'm going to start playing. I know I just finished off with... um the pro wrestling 2 i'm um, on the playstation 2 damn son jushin got the w that's not what i was looking for at all bro that's that's buns bro i know i feel the same way too you lost you you oh my goodness all right jushin won let's get to the next match all right so what i'm about to say so yeah I'm going to be playing some more Japanese games this week or maybe this episode and one more episode. Why is it coming out in a... Bruh, I forgot when I did this. I, I don't know, dog. <laughs> don't even make sense. Oh, my goodness. But, okay, as I was saying, though, um, I think I'm going to have some all-star pro wrestling. I'm going to bring that back. I'm also going to attempt what other oh yeah the Dreamcast joints because I, I was being told on Twitter that I, di I didn't really play Giant Graham too much I know I'm going to get back on Giant Graham I'm going to play that again some more and play with Tiger Mask actually and see if I can beat the game with Tiger Mask so that should be interesting but yeah I have a oh I also have a new wrestling game too let me pull this up I got Fire Pro Wrestling Iron Slam 96, which is basically a um, uh, Fire Pro Wrestling, but it's in 3D. And yes, this should be very, very intriguing. It's a PlayStation 1 game. Um, I've seen some gameplay of it on uh, on YouTube. So I was just like, you know what, let me, let me give it a little shot ski and, and see what it's like. So they got like, so you know with Fire Pro Wrestling, they don't have actual wrestlers. They have um you know closely resembling or resembled wrestlers whatever so they have mitsuhara masawa they have the great muda they have jusha thunder liger they got vader i believe they have a hulk hogan they got a stan hansen they got a super delphine um i want to say this dude in the purple we got purple trunks purple knee pads and kick pads i can't say for sure who that is there's i, I think there's a hulk hogan kind of looking guy and I can't tell who the other guy is because it's this block in the view. But it should be interesting. I'm going to give that one a shot as well. So this is just a little, um, what I would like to say, just a little, you know, intermediate show. You know what I'm saying? Just want to do this uh, King of the Ring, a little, little bit of a cushion for shows on the channel. And then I'm going to dive knee deep into some more wrestling games for the summer. Uh, which we're already in because it's hot as it's hot it's hot as hell um another thing i wanted to do was oh i also want to play um college football on this channel all right now i know this is a wrestling channel i know i know this is a wrestling channel but i just want to do it for me when i first started this youtube channel if you do not believe me and for what I'm known for, which is cause and wrestling, well, created wrestlers and wrestling, um, it, it's it's not off brand because when I first started this channel, I first started playing football games, which I always enjoyed playing football games. I enjoyed playing Madden, but I literally have not played Madden since my last playthrough on this channel, which was, I want to say, shoot, 
I started this back up in 2016. So maybe 2017 was the last time I played a Madden football game. So I'm not buying Madden. I'm just, I'm just going to buy the college football. I want to see what that's like. I, I don't know. I just want to. I had 14. I traded that in. That's a smart move. Um, but the price for 14 about to go down anyway because the new one's out. So everybody who was sitting there paying $100 something, I'm buying that game for like $30 now. The price for that is going to plummet. It's going to be beautiful. Um, but yeah, so uh, basically right now, I really def I definitely want to get back into Japanese wrestling games. I'm also going to start uh, recording Pro Wrestling Revolution, what I do every single game that comes out. And that's a, that's a custom universe mode with a created roster, a created wrestler submitted by the community, uh, mostly. Um, some of them I create for the community. Because some people just don't have the time to make them again, or some of them need help, or whatever the case is, which is fine, honestly, because it helps me. Um, but I'm going to do that. It's not going to be six a six month season. It's going to be a four month season, which is going to be a little bit short, but it is what it is. And damn, Asushi Onita gets the victory over Vader. Did not expect that one to happen, but Asushi Onita beats Vader. All right, he gets over to the next round. So, uh, yeah, congratulations to him. Let's get to the next matchup. If, if is he going to attack Vader? Is he is he going to attack Vader? Let's see. No, he doesn't. Okay, Asuchi Onita is a, a babyface. Let's get it. And now we're getting on to the next match. It this one's going to be uh, Toshiaki Kawada versus Mitsuharu Masawa. So this should be fun. This should, should be a good match here. Good move set on both of them. Uh, actually, it's a default move set because their move sets are already in the game, which is beautiful. I, I wish 2K would bring that back. I wish no. Hold on, hold on, pause. I wish wrestling games would have that now, where they have the preset move set, where it's somebody making sure that there's proper preset move sets for legend wrestlers or very popular wrestlers. That might not be in the game. I wish they would have that. That would make life so easy and so beautiful. Honestly, it really would. I wish I wish a wrestling game company would do that. A wrestling game developer, sorry. I wish they would do that. That would be beautiful. Uh, but yeah, man. I mean, as far as like, and I know people... Oh, oh, I got something else. I got something else. And... I, I'm excited to let you guys know. Now, this is a little bit old, but I'm still going to do it. Now, I know you guys probably seen the wrestling code, the um, King Kong Bundy trailer, right? And I know you've seen a lot of wrestlers getting slammed, tossed around in that um, video. I'm going to showcase one of them. And I'm going to showcase one of those that uh, I'm I'm pretty damn proud of. So you'll see that pretty soon. So put a V in the chat if you're ready for that. <laughs> and that's a clue of who it's going to be. And damn it, I am so proud of the work I did on this character when I show you guys. Now, I'm not going to show the whole thing because the face, the face paint, I, honestly, oh, I'm just going to say it. I don't care. Vampiro. Okay, I'm going to showcase Vampiro from the Wrestling Code. Um, I'm going to do that. So basically for that Vampiro, I, I was a little bit wishy-washy. I'm not going to lie. I was a bit wishy-washy when it came to how I wanted to present his character. I I initially wanted to do the WCW version. Well, it's going to be multiple versions, so it is what it is. We're not worried about that. But as far as face paint goes, the face paint option that you've seen in a trailer... I don't think I'm going to have that as the finalized version. It might be something else. It might be. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But um, I can't wait. Like, I, honestly, I'm just like you guys. I want the game to come out, man. I, I'm ready for the game to come out. It's probably to be complete. And this is... Oh, damn. Never mind. So, um... <laughs> never mind. But, um... Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm very ready for the game to come out. I want people to see. I, I want to play it. Like, I want to play, like, 
the game. Like, and I'm not, I don't even necessarily mean like a finished version. I'm talking about like a demo version. I, you no, know, no, let me rephrase that. I want to see what people say about it. That, that's what I'm really interested in. I, I want to see what people say about it to play it, man. And, and it's like, I know, guys, it's taking longer than what you guys want. I believe me, I know. I'm right there with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, but see, I'm giddy as a schoolgirl because, pause, because it's like, you know, I, I help design characters. You know, a good, a good portion of characters. Anybody who had a, 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 you know, intricate attires or tattoos, you know what I'm saying? I did that. And I'm, I'm proud of my work, man. I, I really am. And I want to make sure that, you know, it's up to quality. You feel me? Like, this is an independent company, an independent developer. And, you know, they don't have the huge resources that like a, a 2K or even a Ukes has and i feel like the, this game the wrestling code can be you know a top wrestling game I, I i truly feel that way i'm not saying that because just because i'm one of the designers in the game like i'm really not because if i didn't feel that way to be completely honest i wouldn't be on a team i wouldn't like i would i would feel like it's pointless and it's a waste of time to be completely honest, um, I I want the game to be one of those type of wrestling games that people can go back to and say, you know, here, here's what I would like. I would like for people to say, yo, it did take them a minute for it to come out, a little bit longer than what I would have liked, but you know what? When they when they released it, it was a solid game, yo. Know? And and honestly, I could always go back to it, and I could always play it. And, you know, they, they have so many different wrestlers that are in the game from different companies. Like, we're the only wrestling game that has impact wrestlers, that has, well, TNA wrestlers, that has AEW wrestlers, that has WWE wrestlers, that has wrestlers from Japan, that has wrestlers from American companies. From the past and present, um, it's. I feel like the wrestling code is like almost, and 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 I'm not sitting here making it like I don't want to, you know, to blow too much smoke, but I feel like it's a 3D version, potentially could be a 3D version of Fire Pro. I'm hoping, like initially, just roster wise, that's that's what I'm comparing it to. And I feel like that's that's a big thing right now. They battling, damn! Like Kawada and and Misawa are teeing off right now, and there's no count out, nothing. They could just battle all night. But um, yeah, man, I definitely want to see the game succeed. I want to see the game come out. Um, I definitely want you guys to see, you know, the work that I did. I want you guys, and then like not even only just that, but like call mode. You know what I'm saying? Like the developers are trusting in me to really give them, you know, the rundown on what I feel like will make a successful um, creation suite. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, for me, for them to even trust me is amazing within itself because I, I don't create a lot of wrestlers as much as I used to. You know what I'm saying? Like this, me being trusted within the, the creation suite of the game is more so of stuff that I did like a good portion of stuff that I did in the past and you know I mean I still create now I'm, I'm kind of slowing down on creating because this is very time consuming and you know I go on Twitter and I see like the the people who are creating now man they they are so damn good like they they're really good but it's just like bro I don't have the time like it's different when you're like teenager early 20s you feel me you don't have big responsibilities or anything like that and damn kawada won i am as i was saying surprised about that win i i did not expect that one at all but okay strange enough and now kawada's about to attack masawa as he should <laughs> 
That's dirty as hell. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Okay, on to the next one. <laughs> but as I was saying, though, so like I'm I'm happy that they trust me to um you know to lead the team in designing um the creation suite as in regards to what the community wants. You know what I'm saying? And I, I hope that the ideas that I give them and don't get me wrong. It's like my baseline ideas are going to be, all right, what's in the current, the current landscape of creation suite. What's, what's available for the community. What does the community want? Uh, what does the community like? What do the community think needs to be changed? Things like that. I know one thing for damn sure that I'm going to make sure that they understand completely equal amount of hairstyles for men and women, equal amount of hairstyles. And hopefully e hairstyles are unisex. They could be for women or men is there's not going to be one for one and not the other. All right. Um, uh, that's what I'm, I'm shooting for. That's what I'm shooting for. Um, also masks. Masks are very important, not only because, you know, there's different luchadors, but I mean, just making sure that the community have options, man. That's that's the biggest thing. Like, I want the, the, the creation suite to have options. So it's like, OK, you want to create this show, you can. You want to create this. Wow. <laughs> wow. Shut up, Andre. You want to create a, a specific thing? You can. You feel me? Um, and it's it's important to like make sure the replay value. And honestly, the biggest replay value for most wrestling games is the creation suite. That's the replay value because the community is going to keep the game alive, and not just the community. You know, the the call community, but it's also going to be the modders. You know what I'm saying? The modders are going to keep the game alive as well um but we know i'm not so much worried about modders because i don't do that i'm worried about the people who you know console players you feel me even though this game is going to come out on pc first I'm, I'm still think about the console players because i'm a console player even though i have a pc it's fine we're not worried about it um i want i want everybody to enjoy the creation suite and i don't want it to be a situation where they can't create somebody and i know for me What's going to suck is for me to do the the dirty work and go through and look at different attires. And I'm talking about from actual wrestlers and see what gear they have. And don't get me wrong, like there's always gonna be a base to start with, you know. Trunks, biker shorts, long shorts, three quarter length um tights, you know, like Samoan cause have or small characters a la um umaga umaga i said umaga like i'm william regal umanga um like you know umaga or you know uh any samoan character small wrestler um and then long tights and then you know doing you know short shorts biker shorts i'm talking like jeans like you know what i'm saying long shorts jorts you know long pants tight pants baggy pants uh cargo pants you know what i'm saying just a lot of different things going into the to to just making sure that the creation suite is is right there with 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 2k because we're not talking about AEW. lord knows we're not talking about AEW. but um it's important that that is right there with 2K as far as options go because I think that's the baseline. And I think that's going to be the baseline that a lot of people hold um, hold the wrestling code to. And it's it, it's fine. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. To be completely honest, in, in 2020... First off, we're in the 2020s. You feel me? If you decide... You know, especially on Unreal Engine 5, that you're going to come out with um, 
a be- wow a below expectations and call mode unreal engine 5 you should be bombarding people with unnecessary options <laughs> it should be so many options that it doesn't even make sense they're just like i i don't know who to make first <laughs> i don't know i don't know what to do uh but yeah and then another thing right another thing there's not if it's if it's up to me i am going to fight tooth and damn nail that there's not going to be a one backstage area no 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 there is not going to be no one backstage area no we can't no that's that's honestly to me unacceptable unacceptable I can't even accept that from 2K. And look how much millions of dollars they have to develop this damn game. If they sit there, like, bruh, I, I don't even, I can't even tell you how disappointed I am in 2K that they only have the one backstage location. And this has been for multiple years. Mind you, they got the 2K. They got the they they got the WWE franchise WWE games franchise what in 2014 because 2K15 was the first one right um and it's just like bruh I'm not even playing when I say this it was just it was like there has been zero interest in making sure the backstage arenas are interesting are fun and are worth playing it. They have more or less made it pointless to have backstage matches, to have hardcore matches backstage because it's just this one like lifeless backstage. And it's just like I don't even I don't even get how like it every year they just choose not to update it. Like I don't get it. To be completely honest, like, I truly don't, like, in my mind, looking at it from the outside looking in, I can't even comprehend, like, what's the, like, when they talk about, all right, what we do backstage? Uh, we'll just keep it the same. Oh, we'll add an elevator. Oh, we'll, we'll add a, a, a spotlight. And that's it? Like, why don't we just revamp it, change it, uh, do multiple locations? Why why not? Like, why, why are we not doing that? Like, I don't even... I don't even understand. I'm, I'm a little bit confused here. And I think that's that's a big thing, man. I truly feel like that's a big thing. And that's something that they need to figure out. Like, sooner rather than later. Because it's just it's just bad. Damn, Jushin won fast as hell. I did not expect that. Okay. Jushin doing his damn thing. He moving on to the finals. Oh, shoot. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go, champ. Is he going to attack a Sushi Onita? Will he attack him? Let's see. Let's see. Is he going to attack? No, he's not. He's babyface all the way. On to the next match. But yeah, that's that's basically how I feel. Let, let's go. Let's go to UPW, right? Because I'm I'm definitely intrigued for a fan from from a person who's a fan of virtual pro wrestling too. UPW intrigues me a lot. Um, I feel like they got the gameplay down pat. I feel like they do. As long as the controls make sense, um, God, I hope they make sense. Oh my, that's the only thing I worry about is the controls. I need the controls to be right. But um, the one thing that kind of worries me a little bit about the game is call mode. Um, I don't like the sizing option they have from making a skinny wrestler to a larger wrestler. I kind of don't like that. Unless they changed it, I hope they did. But um, but yeah, man, um, I'm very intrigued about that game. I feel like that game is going to be a, a hit. And and I feel like with even with that game, that I think and they smart. Like the de- developers for UPW, they're smart because they see the longevity of people who modify the No Mercy game. Who modify? Well, basically, who modify the Aki games? 
And they're basically making a game to replace that. That's basically what they're doing. They're making a game to replace the to, to replace the games that fans of the Aki games modify. And you know what? I give them props for that. I give them so much props for that because that was an untapped market that I don't think a lot of people even thought was was uh, profitable. And they they found their niche into a, a gameplay that people still play 20 plus years later. The developers of UPW are geniuses. They're so smart in doing that. Um, I would just say the one thing that they kind of um, that I felt like they kind of dropped the ball at was roster wise. Like having a generic roster is beautiful. That's fine. I don't I don't I don't mind that. But I think the thing that they kind of missed out on, which is current day talent. They went after a lot of ECW guys. They went after a lot of, you know, WCW guys. They they weren't really worried about making any current wrestlers from the indie scene. And I, I know they're going to say, well, then if they did that, that would just be like the wrestling code. Potentially. But still, without any current talent, now it's just a generic wrestlers with legends. It's a legends game. And I think because it's so heavily impacted with legend wrestlers, that they have to have the generic wrestlers in order to have good movesets. Because what are you going to do? Start throwing German suplexes on who? Do you, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong, you know. Having the BWO in the game, you know, there's a lot of moves that you could put in for, you know, for, you know, Supernova. He did a lot of great wrestling moves. So that's that's a catch. But yeah, I mean, the UPW game, beautiful. I can't wait to play. It. Can't wait to play. It. Um, What was it? Ultra Violence? I don't know what happened with that game, dog. I guess you could say the same thing about the wrestling code, too, I guess. If you could say that, but I guess they're just, you know, digging down and, you know, trying to get the game going. And I, hey, listen, I was one of the first people to interview the developer for that. I was one of the first people. I was one of the first people to interview a lot of the developers for wrestling games. Let's let's put it out there. Me. I was saying just, hey, listen, I just got to, you know, pat myself on the back on that one because that was something that I, I wanted to make sure that I can do because I'm interested in wrestling games. I enjoy playing wrestling games. So um, it was important for me to make sure that the community gets to see these developers who are making these wrestling games. If you don't believe me, you know, the Let's Talk podcast was responsible for first interviews for a lot of the independent wrestling games you're seeing now. Ultra violence. UPW, um, hell, the AEW game, the A, yeah, yeah, the AEW game, dog. I, I had the first interview for the AEW game, um, the 2K games, um, shoot, what other ones I did? I did a lot. <laughs> I did a lot. Um, Mark out, you know, shout outs to Shannon, um. I did a lot of interviews with wrestling game developers, a lot of them. And I tell you this, there's not a lot of wrestling game YouTubers who, who attempt to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I, for me, I feel like that's important, man. You know, and I definitely feel like it's important being the first, one of the first ones, you know, even the Lucha Libre wrestling game. That's that, you know, is inspired by the Aki games. Basante Lucha Libre. I forgot the, the exact name because I'm doing this like late at night. So <laughs> I'm trying to remember everything. But yeah, man, like I was the first one to interview these guys. The first one. And like I said, man, it's it's important to, to get 
the you know these developers out there and letting the community know um about these games you know even i did mobile wrestling game a mobile wrestling game developer you know what i'm saying like i dog i've done it I, I've, I've and it's crazy because a lot of them you know accepted the interview just off the strength of me reaching out there was one that didn't that didn't reply to me i'm not even gonna say their name because i forgot the name of their game but you don't see a lot of people playing it so ha um <laughs> ah -ha. um that's me being petty don't pay me no mind um but yeah like that's but i'm always reaching out you know when i see someone like even some some of them that you know haven't posted anything in a while i know there was one who was using um who was using joshi wrestlers and uh i reached out to them you know and they did the um the pot they, they joined on the podcast i think i have the most wrestling developer interviews on youtube wrestling game developer interviews on youtube I think I have the most, and it's not that many to be honest, but I think I have the most without being one of these YouTubers with 100,000 subscribers. I'm like the only one who's gotten all these interviews and some of them, you know, they're small developers, you know what I'm saying? Like, and when I say I got interviews for the AEW game and the 2K game, it's because of one person. Shout out to my guy, Brian Williams, okay? Like, I interviewed Brian Williams when he was with 2K. I interviewed Brian Williams when he was with the AEW game. Isn't that crazy? Only person, I think, ever to do that. I'm lying. That's that's a lie. Don't even, don't quote me on that. That's a lie. I'm lying. Since we lying. Hashtag. Um, oh, damn. What's this? You better not win off that. You better not win off a of schoolboy. Come on, Muda. I'm, I'm shooting for Muda now. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm, I'm shooting for Muda. Because, you know taka lost but um yeah so it's a lot of great wrestling games I'm, I'm ready to play man and that's why i play these older ones because I, I don't know it's like playing the aew game is i playing the wwe game i've been doing it for years there's nothing special to it it's no i can't wait for jay cargill to come out that's that's really it hey my boy muda one let's go that's my guy that's what i like to see that right there is what I like to see. The great Muda get a victory. That's what I like to see. All right, we're going to the finals now. So the next match is, yeah, the end of the episode. So, all right, let's, let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right, Jushin Liger versus the great Muda in the finals of the King of the Ring. Put a one in the chat, man, if you, you still watching, man. I, I definitely appreciate you, yo. I really do. And... You know, like I said, the, the one thing I always want to do is make a wrestling game channel where you could watch different wrestling games, not just WWE. That initially that wasn't my goal until the pandemic. And then after that, the idea of what I wanted my channel to be kind of changed uh, because I had more time at home. I mean, where was I going? <laughs> where, where was I going? You know what I'm saying? Like everything was shut down. So it was it was eBay, eBay it up, get a bunch of you know wrestling games, and you know switch up the channel. Cause honestly, for a long time it was just WWE games, and I was just like, bruh, like this is this is getting weak. <laughs> this is getting weak. But uh, that's the one thing the pandemic did for me was give me the ability to uh, get uh, more wrestling games. That's that's the one thing that it definitely did do. Not only not only just that, but like just a lot of retro games that I've had in the past that I wanted to get again. That was that was like super important to me, and I feel like um, I feel like that that helped me really get in tune with um, what I enjoy doing, man. Is just like playing old school games, and when I say old school games, these are games I grew up you know playing like as a kid. Like I remember playing this when I was a kid and enjoying the hell out of this game, man. I really did. Like, I enjoyed this game a lot. And there was a lot of other wrestling games that I missed out on. You feel me? And even now, like, you know, you see three videos a week. I don't record videos every single week. 
I record maybe one, two videos a week. You know what I'm saying? And for me, it's just because, you know, getting older, you got more responsibilities. So it's like you don't have time. And it's just like if I'm trying to record stuff, I can't really create as much as I want to. You know, whatever the case is. Like a lot of the times, like in my channel from years ago, I would try to like record the process of creating a wrestling. And that's something untapped that, you know, I can really tap into and try to do, but the time and effort, man, it's it's a lot. It's it's always a lot with, you know, any of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then trying to manage, you know, a, a work life and a personal life. It's 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 a lot of work. And it, it's something that I think about. It's like, all right, well, something got to step to the wayside in order for this to happen, you know? So it's a balancing act. You feel me? Ooh, big germ. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm still going to try my best to, to do as much as I can. Like I said, creating wrestlers, like when the next wrestling game comes out, the next WWE game come out, I'm not creating a bunch of wrestlers. I'm not. Like, the y'all, y'all guys are good. The community's good. Like, like, they don't need a bunch of calls from me. Let's, let's be honest. Y- y'all don't. Uh, <laughs> shoot, and I don't got time to be creating a bunch of them. The only thing that um that I will always think about when it comes to creating wrestlers is logo management and how so many people don't know how to handle that. Damn it, Jushin won. Oh, my goodness. I'm not a fan. I am not a fan of this outcome at all in any way, shape, or form. This is not what I wanted. I don't believe this has happened. Um, Yeah, this this is nonsense. I'm not happy that uh, Jushin won. Let's just put it out there. Well, I have been recording for 46 minutes, and Jushin Liger has won the King of the Ring. All right, you're going to see a bunch of Japanese wrestling games come up now. All right, so... um. <laughs> If you're not a fan of Japanese wrestling games, I don't know what to tell you. Um, But uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new. I have a ton of wrestling games on here. Universe modes, playthroughs of Japanese wrestling games that you probably don't see the full playthrough on YouTube. So uh, definitely check out my channel. uh, Like this video. And other than that, yo, y'all stay safe. I'm going to catch y'all guys on the next video later.